Oh, hey, I actually don't have a joke for this specific app. So anyway, today we're going to be checking out the app Fidia. So without further ado, let's get right into this review. All right, so here we are on the main interface. If you look on the top left hand corner, you'll see three dots. And when you tap on that, you will see copy day, paste day, clear day, adjust servings, recalculate meals and export plan. Towards the right of that, where it says today, if you tap on that, this is where you can check your calendar. To the right of that, you'll see this yellow icon, and when you tap on that, this is going to bring you to your account, where you can check your profile. And below that, where it says get premium, if you tap on that, if you decide to upgrade to the premium version for whatever reason, it's going to cost you $47.99 for the 12 months plan, $29.99 for the 6 months plan, $22.49 for the 3 months plan, and $9.99 for the 1 month plan. You can also check your nutrition settings, smart shopping list, notifications, language and units, appearance and haptics, help center, report a problem, and check some more account settings. Below that, where you can see the days of the week, you can see, obviously, what day of the week it is. And below that, you can see how many calories you have consumed so far and have remaining. You can see your macronutrients to the right of that, and when you swipe left you are able to see some additional micronutrients such as sugars fiber sodium and saturated fat but that's only available for the premium version and if you tap on the wrench icon you can check some calories settings macros settings and what do the colors mean below that we once again have the option to upgrade it to the premium version here where it says almost there steps one of three this is usually what you're going to see especially when you just downloaded the app for the first time so we're just going to go ahead and skip over that here you have the option to search food or a recipe and to the right of that you'll see a barcode scanner icon which we're going to get to in just a bit here you can log your food for breakfast lunch and dinner or a snack you can also track your exercise as well as your water the Fidia app also has a referral program if you would like to participate in that. We also have some additional features here such as join a team, recipes for you, track your weight, create your recipe, and build your shopping list. We have some shortcuts and some premium features. All right, so that's it for the main interface. On to the calorie tracking tests. With me today, I've got my faithful friend, Pringles. First, let's go ahead and check how we are able to search our food. Pringles lightly salted. Hit search. Seems to be the first one. Tap on that. Make sure the serving size is correct. 15 chips. Select add to dinner. Go back to the main interface and as you can see, we have officially tracked our Pringles. Next, let's go ahead and test out the barcode scanner. Tap the barcode scanner. Tap allow and find the barcode. Make sure the serving size is correct. Tap add to dinner. Go back to the main interface and as you can see, we have officially tracked our Pringles twice. Now let's go ahead and check if we are able to adjust our food by grams and ounces. Right over here next to quantity, where it says serving if you tap on that here we do in fact have the option to edit our food by grams and ounces and now let's go ahead and check if we are able to view our macronutrients if you go back to the main interface next to where it shows you how many calories you have consumed so far and have remaining to the right of that you can see your macronutrients such as your protein carbs and fat so i think that's about all we need to know now what do i think about the app well it is simple and easy to use. I am able to see my macronutrients. As you can see, it does have a barcode scanner, which I am able to use for free. So I appreciate that. It does show me how many calories I have consumed so far and have remaining. And I am able to log my food by grams and ounces. So with all that said, would I keep this app on my phone? For me personally, I'm going to have to say no just because I feel like the main interface is so crowded. It could definitely be a lot more minimal than this. I do appreciate the minimal looking fonts, but besides that, the fact that it's really feature packed, I don't like that. So I personally would not keep this on my phone, but would I recommend it to any of you guys? That's easy. I'm going to say yes. If you don't mind there being a bunch of features that you probably don't need, but still does what the app needs to do regardless, I would recommend 
of this app. But if you're like me and prefer apps that are more minimal and simple, this is not the app for you. But anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. And if you would like to check out any other calorie tracking apps, be sure to check out this video right here. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video or are new to the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't already and tap that notification bell so that you never miss out on any future videos. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you found it helpful and comment down below letting me know what you thought of the Fidia app. And with that said, I will see you guys next time.